Hello everyone. As you can see, I've got uh, the cable tie spacers taken out of the of the uh, cells that I've created here, and the glue still needs a little bit more time to set up, but it came out extremely well. I'm very pleased with the way this came out. Uh, you can see through the bottom there how it's how it's raised up off of the the floor, self-supporting. I'll be taking a drill and just sending it right down through all the exposed tips so that the holes line up and I'll be shaving down some some bolts as spacers uh, the plates are 1 8 of an inch thick that's 125 thousandths I have 45 thousandths gap between each of the plates so that's 90 thousandths so that's uh, 215 thousandths or just under one quarter of an inch between each of each of the plates of like poles that uh, all I need to do is uh, get some, like I said, some nuts and slip them in between. Uh, just uh, maybe file them down. I'll grind them down on the grinding wheel to rough them out, and then and then file them down to to get them to the precise fit, so that I can compress it very tightly without changing the gap between the plates and extend my threaded electrodes out this way. Um, pretty much the same for the flat plate design here, with the 316L and over here I've got the uh, spiral cell in a small jar clear plastic uh, nothing fancy about this jar very low melting point I don't want to do any permanent you know permanent uh, installations with this but it'll be good for demonstration because it's about the right size I also want to show you this was in the this, this was in the garbage for a while um, I'm glad it actually didn't make it to the side of the road. It is a 5 amp power supply. 5 amp? I don't know. They call it a 4 to six, 4 amp continuous, 6 amp can, uh, intermittent, but it had a cigarette lighter jack on the front with the fuse and the battery output terminals. The transformer on this thing, you can see, is pretty black. macro there. there. Transformer is pretty black because these two rectifiers on the printed circuit board shorted out. I don't know if uh, the electronics on the board shorted out, but the transistor on the heatsink survived. This is a 2N3055, which is an excellent transistor for uh, creating pulse circuitry power output stages for. And it suddenly occurred to me this evening that this is going to make a great project box for my pulse width modulators. I'm simply going to rebuild it and put this heat sink on the back with the MOSFET mounted to it instead of the 2N3055 and take out this power transformer, take out this printed circuit board, and mount uh, my hand wired circuit board in here. Yeah, just going to mount the, the hand-wired circuit board flat. And uh, this is going to make a really nice little project box. I'll have my output terminals here to the cell, and maybe I'll stick a couple of terminals on the back for the DC power input. And I'll get my DC power input either from this supply here, which is a variable from 1.5 volts all the way up to 15 volts at 50 amps max or this little supply up top that's about 15 amps but 13.8 volts fixed obviously I want to use this because it's regulated and variable okay then uh, I've got the framework together for the pulse width modulation device actually this will be a multi-purpose device because you can see I've got the knob for the frequency and for the uh, duty cycle. These are the two terminals I'm going to use for the output. This is the on-off power switch and this will be the primary fuse. Inside I have a piece of perf board and it is a fairly large piece of perforated material which is a good-sized canvas to paint on. 
I can build quite a bit on a board that size. So this should be interesting. I have the power MOSFET mounted to the inside of the box and mounted with of course a uh, thermal washer that will conduct the heat away while electrically isolating it from the chassis. And the heat sink is mounted to the back with heat sink thermal compound between the, the base of the heat sink and the back of the enclosure. At the back I have my DC input terminals and a DC input fuse. So that's the basic framework for the pulse width modulation, oscillator, whatever I decide to put in this box. Like I said, it's a very large canvas and I uh, should have some fun with it.